Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Of what happened to how her house caught on fire and how she has all this stuff that we need to be getting out. Avalanche! You ever seen a roach avalanche? Today's the day. This lady with this horde, man, I guess she had lied to the adjuster and the insurance and she's going crazy, as you can see, um, crying and stuff right now, of what happened to how her house caught on fire and how she has all this stuff um, that we need to be getting out. But the adjuster says we can't go into the home right now because he has to call the origin adjuster to come and bring their own people in here to see how the fire started before we can even go in there. We're getting a little Haley on a different level, so, World, this is Haley. You know, it's all American, girl. H to the A to the L E Y. You hear her? I mean, we didn't even script that. That's really her. You feel me? I love showers. I stand in the shower for like an hour and a half. And if I have to shave, that's doing work in the shower. Shaving all my legs and my mm, and then my mm, and then washing my hair. It's been two hours. But you know what? I would rather, I would rather shave my mm and my mm. To have a uh uh, like you don't want none of that. That's bad business, you know. <laughs> anywhere, you don't want to have to like pry through the jungle, like, <laughs> like, dude, no, you don't machete. Want that. You, you don't, don't like all those like machete. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, she's, but she's so got so many tree trimmers and, and like, hedgers. <laughs> had to get Emma like... scissor hands to come in there with me. Like, that. that is not popping, <laughs> dude. Come on, shave is what he's talking about. I just looked over. I gotta make sure that you on point. Good, you if know. you notice, follow the finger. If you notice <laughs> the five o'clock stubble, okay? This is more like, you know, not five, like six, maybe <laughs> 6 30. Could be 6 45. What is it that you like about hordes? They are, to me, easy. Mm -hmm. Unless they're picky and want to go through things and save clothes or jewelry, of course, that's granted, but. On all other terms, you can just get rid of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's easy. Take a shovel, go in there, dump it, dump it. So you have no in. problem seeing cat shit, ammonia piss, dead animals, um, mice, roaches, all that kind of stuff. You're I mean, good. the dead animals breaks my heart, but mm -hmm. the filth aspect really is not the biggest deal in the world to mm -hmm. me. I mean, the mass, you can't really smell anything to begin with. You mm -hmm. chew gum, too. It's <laughs> all American chick right here. That's I right. mean, this is this is good as guess right there. Born I mean, and raised. You me? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even gotta say nothing. <laughs> I mean, this is. <laughs> What level would you say this is? What's the strongest hurricane? Uh, it's a category five. Oh, this is Senko. This is Senko, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen tons of mice and tons of nasty grime stuff. This is a lot of bugs. <laughs> Brody! I see what you're talking about, those gross. Oh, God! <laughs> Man, these roaches fucking worldwide, dude. They travel from New York. How are you New York roaches? You need to get lost. Okay, I didn't see all of this when I came in last time. That's Thaddeus's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I hate you. It wasn't me, it was gravity. <laughs> okay. Why? Called nature. Probably high up there in one of the worst hordes that I've ever seen. Uh, bugs, filth, not as bad, but filth. And it was mostly garbage. I can't believe that it was piled so high, but Thaddeus and I, we did a really good job. It was an avalanche, an absolute avalanche. Um, every time I tried to grab a bag, more bags just kept coming, and I tried to, 
I squeezed, accidentally squeezed one of the garbage bags and roaches just poured out all over my hand. I wish you would have been there to see it, but it was just gross and nasty, but we got through it. Today was our only day to move everything out of there. When we arrived, there was a miscommunication, I guess. When we got in, there was a fire. Honestly, in my opinion, when you, could walk, when you walk in, it smelled kind of like a bonfire off in the distance, not too pungent, but you could tell something burned. The ceiling, I noticed, was very charred and black, and I don't think that's gonna last a very long time, so to speak. I'd like to say that the lady that we worked with today was very nice. I Items might have gotten misplaced that were her daughter's clothes and shoes and books and things that she didn't want thrown away. That and she wasn't too very nice to me. Um, I was told to be a man. <laughs> I'll work on that, I promise. Avalanche! You ever seen a roach avalanche? Today's the day. Hey, this is Fiona. We got Nick, Jar. From Spalding. Uh, we're out in Pensacola doing some hurricane relief work. As you can see, the damage behind us it's uh, quite substantial. It's terrible. Even here. But uh, we're just doing what we can to, to help the residents over here. We got so, this though. Trying to make uh, clean up wife's accidents as they happen. So just taking it one day at a time, doing the best we can. Uh, so the team went up to Pensacola to assist in hurricane relief. Some houses needed tops put on the roof, water damage inside. So we just went out to help the residents in Pensacola. We were in Pensacola for two weeks. Well, honestly, the most memorable was driving down the streets of Pensacola, right on the edge of the water, and just seeing the faces of all the people that live there, and just seeing their face of relief when they see companies driving by to actually help out. It was an eye-opener for me to actually see the extent of the damage in real life. It's like seeing it on TV or in photos is one thing, but seeing it right there in front of you was just, it's heartbreaking. I would say the most challenging day was uh, the day that we had to do a third story house. End up having to buy a ladder specifically for that job. John was the lucky one to go on the roof. With a harness, with rope, <laughs> with an anchor on the other side, which was Franny. Yep, I was the anchor on the ground. It was challenging, but we did it. Third story, so pretty much a four floor. Winds were very, very strong. I would say anywhere from 50 miles to 75 miles an hour, trying to hold your balance and everything. But luckily I had a good anchor that didn't let me fall and made it happen. It's a lot different spending the day with someone versus two weeks. You get to see everything about each other, but I would do it again in a heartbeat. I'm ready to go back. Ready to have uh, coffee on the table. I did wake up every morning to uh, a cup of coffee waiting for me, so John's the best. Clean my sugar. Come on, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> there was a house we would walk down, the, we would drive down the street, and you'd just see signs saying, thank you for all the work. Thank you guys, thank you guys. Every time we went into a store, we wanted to buy some food or anything, it was always a thank you. We went out to eat, someone gave us like a 50% discount. But you, you see the, the difference that you make and the impact. That alone is more than enough reason to do it again. Any uh, final words that you uh, wanna leave or people who unfortunately come into situations, similar situations? I would say uh, keep your hopes high. There, there's people out there that will come to help you. Um, we are only a phone call away. We'll make it happen just like we did these last two weeks. We can keep on going all year round if we have to. The bag's melted, absolutely melted. There's a couch there. That's kind of cool. I didn't see that when we first walked in. I felt kind of like belittled by that lady, to be honest, because I like to think that I'm strong enough to throw garbage bags in the dumpster, you know what I mean? I think she thought um, that she was getting men, like big muscly type men that could get the house empty in a day. Nobody really could have gotten that house empty in a day. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you see my, uh, oh, wow. dang, sweaty Tyvek muscles. It's <laughs> a joke, it's, it's, I'm not good at that at all. Scratch that from the tape. No, I like it. <laughs> Stay positive, it'll get better before it gets a lot worse for you, all right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Glad we could be of some assistance and service to you. You're very welcome. <laughs> Just finished up this category five hoard. Hoard of the, you know, uh, roach avalanche. It was, it was a good hoard. One of the best ones I've been on as far as just like, 
the amount of trash and stuff that was in the house. We try to put as big of a dent in her place as, as possible, even though we seem like we didn't get anywhere. But at the end of the day, you know, she started off a little rough behind the edges, the client. She kind of softened up to us, kind of, you know, apologized for her, uh, you know, being a little snappy, you know, earlier, but, you know, she kind of mellowed out, had a heart to heart talk with her. She's, you know, going through a lot, you know, lost a lot of people in her life, you know, just like anyone else, you know, at the end of the day, I just want her to know, you know, it will get better just to stay positive, keep her faith high. You know, we all go through things in life. It's just how we bounce back that makes us, you know, the individual we are, so. Kind of glad, you know, we got to do this hoard, got to, you know, learn a little bit about a client, but at the same time, you know, you never know what someone's going through. So glad of that Spalding could be of some assistance to her to kind of help her to, you know, this tough time that she's going through right now. She seemed like she was very happy, very pleased uh, with the job and effort that we did today. You know, another satisfied customer. Even though we didn't get everything, we had to stop because she said that she was ready to go and ready for us to go. So toughest part about this job was going up and down stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, you know, I'm, I'm huge on cardio, but I'm like, man, Stairmaster kills me just like it does in real life. What are you doing? Play Pokemon Go. I can't really. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm level 30. Share my friend code later. Okay. <laughs> All you Pokemon Go losers, play a real game. See how Haley's looking right now? She doesn't like that. Cause she's a Pokemon person, but she needs to play a real How game. How are you gonna insult me and then finish with Dude, the play a real game, play a real game like, like Tetris. Yeah. Tetris is a real game, huh? Play a real game like Mario Brothers or something. No, don't play that. Pac-Man, play a real game. Pinball, something. Addie's age will not be revealed. My age won't be revealed, but at the end of the day, I'm happy with who I am. Add me on Pokemon Go. Look at her, man, look her up, dude. She's trying to get at everybody, you feel me? That's no, don't add her. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.